In the past, it was relatively difficult to keep your firmware up to date if you were running Linux, because most of the firmware utilities were designed for Windows only and wouldn't run on Linux. So in some cases, you could update the UFI BIOS using a USB flash drive from within the UFI BIOS setup. And for older systems, you could use a FreeDOS bootable USB. Now, in some cases, you needed to change the boot settings in order to do this. And I've made other tutorial videos going through this. I'll leave a link to these in the video description. So this only updated the firmware of the system itself. So the UFI BIOS or the legacy BIOS update. It didn't actually update the firmware of any docs or the firmware of solid state drives, for instance. These would remain not updated and you would basically need to install Windows in order to run these firmware updates. So nowadays both Dell and Lenovo are configuring systems shipped with either Ubuntu or Fedora and there's a demand for the firmware updates to be available on Linux. So they've worked together to create the Linux firmware update service and uh, fwupd.org slash lvfs slash devices will tell you what devices are supported. So in the case of Dell, it's mainly sixth generation Intel, Optiplexes, Precisions, Latitudes and Extreme Performance Systems or lighter. And for the laptop slash tablet models such as the Latitude and Extreme Performance Systems, these are compatible with some of the Thunderbolt docks such as the WD19TB. And in Ubuntu 2004 or later, I'm using Ubuntu 2010, you can update everything using the Firmware Update Manager. So this is command line based. So in order to open the Firmware Update Manager, type in FW and then UPD and then MGR. Now when you do this, you'll get a list of available commands that you can type in. So the most important commands here are get devices, which will show you all the devices that support firmware updates, and then get updates, which will show you a list of updates for the available connected devices. And finally, update, which will update the firmware to all the latest versions. So I'm going to type in FW, UPE, D and then MGR and then space and then get dash devices. So here we see that I've got an Optiplex 7040 and we see that the UFI bias version is 1.15.5. So now if I press the up arrow key, I'll get my previously typed in command and instead of typing in get devices, I'm going to change this to get updates. So here I'm given details about the latest UFI BIOS update for the Optiplex 7040. And now I want to go ahead with the update. So what I'm going to do is type in the up arrow key and instead of typing in get updates, I'm going to type in update. So it warned me that I'll need to have the PC plugged in. It's a desktop, so it's going to be plugged in anyway. And at this warning, I'll need to press Y in order to proceed. And then I'll need to press Y in order to confirm that I want to restart to update the UFI BIOS. So now I'll go ahead and update the UFI BIOS. And once the UFI BIOS update is complete, the computer will reboot and we'll see the Ubuntu Dell Splash logo. So now we can log in and once again open up the terminal. And if we just have a look at the devices again, 
We get this information about uploading a report, so I'm just going to select free. And it wants my credentials in order to do this, so I'll input them. So now at the bottom, we see that the update was successful and we see the current version is now 1.17.0. So the UFI bias is up to date on this model. So it's not something that I would recommend doing routinely, but in some cases you may need to reinstall the firmware update. So there is also the command reinstall. So once again, I'll need to type in Y in order to proceed. And it's gonna go ahead and download the UFI BIOS update again. And then I'll need to press Y in order to restart the computer and the UFI BIOS update will be reapplied. So once again, once the UFI BIOS update is complete, your computer will reboot and you'll be taken back to the login screen. Okay, so that's went through and reinstalled the latest UFI BIOS update on this Optiplex 7040. So once again, I'm going to log in and I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type in firmware update manager. So I see that there is an option called downgrade. So I'm going to have a look at that. So it tells me that there's no downgrade available. So I assume that Dell, the OEM, have blocked the downgrade for the UFI BIOS update here, or simply just not made one available. Now I can download the earlier update and stick it on a USB flash drive and downgrade using the UFI BIOS boot menu, which I've done before making this tutorial video. But I don't see a way of getting the downgrade to work using the firmware update manager. So if you've got some more details about performing the downgrade using the firmware update manager, then please write in the comments to let us know.